create a Rhino alias. An alias command is a series of keystrokes that you can enter on the command line to execute Rhino functions. You can make a bunch yourself, and there's a few that are in there. So let's get started. First thing, let's go up to Tools, Options, and we're on Aliases. Now, on the left side are the characters that you would enter in on the command line. C would give you the command structure for select crossing. If you look down a little ways, we have Z for zoom, ZE for zoom extends, ZEA for zoom all extends. Let's start a new one. We click new, and I'm going to do zoom window, so we're going to put in ZW. Now, the first thing we're going to add is the apostrophe. The reason for that is that if you have a nestable command such as zoom or near, you want to put that in. So our alias is going to work in the middle of another command thus. The next is we're going to put underscore. The reason for the underscore forces the command alias to run as an English command. Um, it just seems to work better and it's more universal. Next we're going to do our command zoom, Z-O-O-M. Then we're going to do a space to execute zoom then underscore again, and then we're going to do window. Alright, so let's try our command. Now we click OK. On the command line we type Z, W, space. And there it goes, drag to window to zoom. Little rhino icon. There you go. Other commands that on format are explanation point cancels a previous command and a dash suppresses dialog boxes. So if you're trying to do an alias where you don't really want a dialog box to pop up on the screen, you can put a dash in it. Thank you.